Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench and we have a quick, simple tutorial for you guys this week. So as you can see, we're doing a little delay based on a shape. I was watching something Andrew Kramer did a while ago and I had an idea. So let me show you how this works. First, we're going to open up this matte layer right here and then go one more deep gradient. So one thing that I learned that I didn't really think about uh, is that you can apply a gradient with a layer style and get this. I used to do this like with polar coordinates and stuff in the past, but this is much easier. So by default, this thing comes in with 100% gradient smoothness, and that's going to become a problem because when we're going to make it out into the mat that fits the shape, it does that. And I don't know if you can tell, but this will not fit a hexagon. So we're going to go back in here, make this zero, which actually kind of almost makes it appear to be more smooth. I don't really, I mean, I guess. But pop it back in here, and then what we're using is posterize. So if you have a pentagon, you can set this to five. You have to hold shift if you want to go in even increments here. So there you go. Looks like it might be slightly off from a quad, but I don't know that you'd ever notice that. So let's go back to six. We've got a hexagon. And then you just bring that in here and set that as your time displacement layer. So it would look like that. And I just scaled up. Here's another look for it where you just have the center do that. And the outside animates. It's just another little thing that could be kind of neat. You can also put this above everything and then you get a slightly different kind of effect which is kind of similar to what I used in the intro, but not exactly. Let me go back to the other way though. So let's check this out if we did a linear gradient instead. Set that to linear, let's make the angle zero. We go into the mat, I'm gonna set this to like, I don't know, 30. So now we have a bunch of little pieces. And you can see that's kind of interesting. The middle will be close to medium gray, so there won't be too much in the middle going on, but it's pretty neat. So obviously this technique can apply to more than just shapes. Let's go in here real quick and let's turn off the posterize. Go back and now you can see how it gets glitchier if you don't have that on. But if you want something smoother, you go back in, hit posterize, change this value right here to whatever you want, go back in. If you were to move this thing with a gradient, let's say we'll take this right here and we'll turn its scale off. Let's just do a simple uh, thing right here. We're gonna, that's gonna be its final position and let's say we're gonna come in from the top. It could be kind of neat if you mask this off. Turn that off real quick, it's being weird. All right, turn that back on. Let's see, I also had some easing applied to that. Let's mash this thing off, why not? Just throw a quick shape up here. Over there. And I'm gonna throw that right there. And then set this thing to, oops, not alpha, alpha inverted. So it's a completely different look with a simple gradient and posterize. So combine the two and see what you come up with. All right, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And make sure you follow us on workbench.tv for more great tutorials. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.